Welcome to Naresh Technologies. I am Bangaraju and in this video uh, I will demonstrate about uh, lambda expressions. So, what are this lambda expressions means? In the previous video of delegates, in the previous video of delegates, um, I have just been explaining about anonymous methods. What are the anonymous methods? Anonymous method means a method without a method body which can be bound directly to a delegate and can be called. So, we have just been defined a method first and after defining a method, we have just changed the method into an anonymous method. First, we gone for a named method and after that, the named method is bound with a delegate and with that, we have called it. Okay, If you can watch the video of anonymous methods, it will be much more clear and afterwards, that named method is changed to an anonymous method and then directly, we have invoked it in this process. Fine. Anonymous methods, uh, what is the advantage means uh, lesser typing work. The typing work will be decreased off because we do not require to use that public or private as a modifier and no need to use that static, no need to use the written type, no need to again specify the method name. All these things are not required. Straight away, we define it by using the delegate keyword and directly we give the parameter and use it and you see the delegate is a keyword and we require to use a parameter here. Why parameter? Because the parameter is going to be taken here the same thing and a lambda expression is a shorthand for writing the anonymous methods. So, lambda expression is a nothing special. A lambda expressions were introduced to still simplify the concept of the anonymous methods. So, it is a shorthand for writing the anonymous methods. Okay, Let us just try to understand. We will add a new class here. We will name the class as lambda <coughs> expressions dot cs. Now, in this, let us just use the same code what we used in the previous program. Have a delegate. And uh, I can call a method. I can call a method which is going to have the same signature. Okay, already uh, we have the delegate here. Again, when we redefine, we are getting an error. So, not a problem because it is defined inside the namespace. We can use the same delegate in the new class also. So, this delegate I am going to use in our new class also. Okay, let us define a method that matches with the signature public static string greetings string name return hello plus name plus the same code I am writing what we done in the previous example a very good morning. So, same thing I am writing again a very good morning and now I want to call this method by using the delegate which delegate this greetings delegate because it is in the same namespace we can just consume it under this class also okay and there is a public so static void main and then what we do we are going to uh, instantiate the delegate greetings delegate obj is equals to new greetings delegate and pass the delegate name for it what are the uh, sorry what the pass the method name the method name is greetings so what is this this is a process of instantiating the delegate so now the method is bound with the delegate now you can call the delegate obj dot invoke passing the name i am just giving some name here console dot read Oh, sorry, some semicolon missing here. It is a value returning method. So, we need to capture the value. We must take in there. String str is equals to and then console dot right line str to see the result. Yeah, we got the output. Fine. <coughs> now, last name the same thing in the last video I was just showing the same thing and then I said you without uh, writing a separate method like this we can just convert this into an anonymous method. What is that without using this public static greetings and all 
and binding the method here, what we can do? Do not write all these things, straight away use the delegate statement or the delegate keyword and then what you can do? You can straight away use this parameters here and write the body here without writing this method and we call this as a anonymous method. We call this as a anonymous method. So, now when you try to execute this, it will give you the same output. And here we do not require to just use the modifiers like public static, no return types, no name, nothing required. Directly we can use the delegate keyword and just uh, write up the code. Okay? But you require to tell the parameter here, you require to tell the parameter because that parameter is used here, we require to tell the parameter along with the type of the parameter. But we do not require to tell the written type. Why we do not require? Because the greetings delegate is very much clear that it returns a string. So, because it returns a string, we do not require to tell the written type. Even though we do not tell the written type, we can directly return a string here. Okay? But we are telling string name, parameter we are telling. But here a doubt arises. What is the doubt? We do not require to tell the return type because the delegate knows the return type. At the same time, delegate knows the parameter type also. Delegate is aware of the parameter type also. But why are we specifying the parameter type here? This is one confusion that arises in our mind. And second thing is, why anonymous methods means, I is telling you, lesser typing work, no need to type that uh, uh, method names and all the things, but still we are asked to type a keyword called delegate. We are asked to type a keyword called delegate. We are typing a keyword called delegate as well as we are also telling the uh, parameter type even though delegate knows why all these things are required. But see, in 2.0 anonymous methods are introduced, C sharp 2.0 anonymous methods are introduced and this is the format of writing the code. But maybe <coughs> the same question may be raised by someone also. What is it? Why to write the delegate again when you say lesser typing work? And again, why are you telling the parameter type when the delegate knows already the parameter type? So, that is what happened is in 3.0, they introduced a concept called lambda expression. What is the lambda expression? With the ha help of lambda expression, now you can write the code still simplified. That is why I said you. Lambda expression is a shorthand for writing anonymous methods no need to use the delegate keyword and even no need to use the parameter type also. Straight away you are provided with one special operator called as a lambda operator and you can write the code. Run this, you get the same output. It is still simplified version of the anonymous methods. Here, can I write string name? Can I write string name? Yeah, you can. You, if you write that, that is not an issue, but still it is not required. Why it is not required? Because the delegate already knows the parameter what it takes going to take a string. If you put a mouse, it will tell you that is a string. It will tell you it is a string, even though we did not specify as string name. The reason is because the delegate already knows it. So, that is the advantage or the simplification what we have for the anonymous methods means it's still simplified we can just use the concept of the lambda expressions so like this we can straight away write off our code okay and uh, see in the anonymous method where do we use or how can we use means i showed you a windows project and uh, there how you use the anonymous methods explained the same thing will turn now into a lambda expression yes in the anonymous <coughs> methods video, I was just showing there, how can we use this particular anonymous methods directly uh, delegate and after this delegate, we can specify the two parameters. What are the two parameters? Object sender and event args a and then write the logic. So, straight away when we run this, click on this button, a new button gets added on the form and click on this button, displays the message. So, like this, we were just using uh, anonymous method here, directly by using a delegate. So, now what you can do? Without all these things, remove this, use the lambda operator and no need this object 
and the known at this even tarks. Without all this, we can write the logic. Click, button comes, click on the button, we get the output. So, lambda expression is just a shorthand for an anonymous method. So, to understand lambda expression, first you are required to be aware of an anonymous method and that anonymous methods are simplified with the concept of the lambda expressions. Thank you for watching the video. For more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Naresh IT. Thank you.